Okay, sometimes you may want to add a file to whatever you are working on. Maybe you're creating a site to be able to access um, your lesson plans and you want to have a worksheet that you found somewhere or that you downloaded or that you created or you like a PowerPoint presentation. Um, I'm going to show you how to do that and I think I'm going to do that simply by using that same page that we created earlier that was just an extra page. So I'm going to go to it because remember we hit it. So then if I hit save and edit, I can go to that page that I have hidden. Um, in order to do that, there's several ways that you can add a document. You can drag this over and when you drag that over, it'll drop. Do, 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 do. And then you type your own little document in here. That's basically what that one is. Um, so it'll show the whole document for you. Do, do, do. So if I hit upload new file, I'm going to pick something at random. Um, let's see. Let's go to libraries, documents, and I'll just grab uh, notes from the STC meeting. And so when I do that, it's going to scan it and then drop it right here. Okay, it doesn't like Microsoft Word. So maybe it doesn't, it's not always going to work like that. Um, so we tried that one. And if that one doesn't work, we can always create a link where we're going to bring a document, a file. And that's this one. And then you click there to upload the file. You go through the same steps. And I'll go ahead and pick this one, that one. It's going to scan it. And then it's right there. I can download the file. It takes, it does take a while for it to do it. Um, remember that every time you make a change to your website, it does save automatically, but it does not publish, which means you won't be able to view it on the internet until you in, click publish. So think of your publish button as your save button. You want to make sure that you click that periodically. Um, so that you can test to make sure your website is, is working. Uh, the other things that you can upload, um, you could definitely upload some PowerPoint presentations. Um, any type of file could be uploaded that way. Um, Flash, I have not messed with. HD, I have not messed with. I think the star means that you can't do it yet um, unless you upgrade. Um, I have used surveys and I have used polls. Um, those are things that you just type in and it creates a survey. So you type in whatever your survey is. If you click this to change it, this changes the question. Um, you can make it required um, and you can also change your options of the question answers there. Um, so that's how that works. It's kind of nice. It does send it to you um, so that you would get it. Um, so, so you'll get it sent to you. The responses, I'm trying to get out of this. Form options. And so it tells you the different, it's going to send your submissions to here. Actually, I think I have a whole bunch of them over here somewhere where they came in. Um, here it is. We've got Weebly surveys for grades. So literally you get them all right there. And you'll get these answers. This was when we did a project and they were grading their partners. So it's kind of nice because the other kids couldn't see what they were doing and it was basically, you know, did you do this? Did you do this? So think of it as a rubric and then it asked did those partners share the work equally. And believe me, they are honest to let you know. Um, go back to our site. So that's that. If you don't like these things and you click on them, you could always get rid of your form Okay, it's not doing it very well. Oh, hit save to get it to go away. And then if you don't want it, the X is always going to be delete. Delete. Um, what else have I used? The poll kind of works the same way. I have not used that in my class yet. Um, but I'm going to assume that it works the same way, that you can have them take a poll immediately. So a lot of Weebly is just playing and it'll be with Poll Daddy, it looks like. So you have to put, you'll have to create a link through PollDaddy.com. So I haven't used that. Um, poll Daddy is not one that I've 
used much. Um, so that's how you do add documents and um, files. So there you go.